Born from counter-propaganda and resistance efforts during World War II, modern-day psychological operations soldiers master the power of influence to shape the global security environment, impact regional stability, and achieve United States national security goals. To ensure the security of the homeland and of Americans abroad, PSYOP forces inspire our allies and motivate foreign populations, while exploiting vulnerabilities of foreign state and non-state actors, who might believe their actions are without consequences. Persuade, change, influence is the motto of the U.S. Army PSYOP Regiment. PSYOP soldiers deploy globally to conduct influence activities as a critical component of the United States Special Operations Command. PSYOP forces support commanders, U.S. ambassadors, allies, alliance and coalition partners, and other government agencies. Operating in small, autonomous teams or with other special operations forces, PSYOP soldiers work within the civilian population with members of the government, military, and law enforcement. As influence experts, they specialize in unconventional capabilities, cultural expertise, language proficiency, military deception, and advanced communications techniques across all forms of media. As the proponent of psychological operations, the U.S. Army John F. Kennedy Special Warfare Center and School assesses, selects, and trains PSYOP soldiers. A soldier must complete the assessment and be selected prior to attending the Psychological Operations Qualification Course. The 10-day PSYOP assessment and selection tests the soldier's physical and mental limits while also assessing the soldier's intelligence, motivation, trainability, and ability to influence. The first phase of POQC is PSYOP orientation, which introduces the soldier to influence activities, PSYOP history, and core tasks providing a solid foundation. During phase two, language and culture, soldiers attend the basic special operations language training in their respective language, which will allow them to communicate effectively with our partners. Each student must pass an oral proficiency interview to advance. Students also learn the foundations of cross-cultural communication and the use of interpreters. In phase three, soldiers learn the PSYOP core competencies and tasks and are taught adaptive leader methodology in negotiation, mediation, and influence. Influence activity planning, behavioral science, social cultural analysis and understanding, media production and dissemination management, and the psychological effects on military operations are also taught. At the end of this phase, students are challenged with a tactical culmination exercise known as Black Knight, where they conduct tactical callouts, village assessments, key leader engagements, and brief indigenous guerrilla chiefs. The next training phase is regional analysis, where each soldier is given an overview of their assigned region. They are taught how to identify U.S. national interests and are required to conduct an area study. During the interagency phase, students are exposed to the inner workings and coordination with U.S. government agencies in a diplomatic setting, ultimately increasing student capabilities to plan and conduct MISO in varying operational environments. Upon graduation, these active duty soldiers are assigned to the 4th Psychological Operations Group Airborne or the 8th Psychological Operations Group Airborne. PSYOP soldiers are model professionals in peak physical condition and selected for their strong intellectual ability, critical and analytical thinking skills, adaptability, and mental resiliency. They defend our nation and deliver hope worldwide to those in despair.